In this video, we will have a closer look at Vanguard 2 from RayFX. First, we will take a look at the interface. At the top of the VSD, we find the header. The cube will take you to the preset browser. On the right, you will see the category of the preset, and then you see the name of the preset. The preset can actually be renamed. The heart allows you to save the preset to your favorites. You have an undo and redo button related to any changes you make to the preset. The arrows allows you to go to the previous or next preset in the list. The dice will select a random preset. Next, you will see the CPU usage and the amount of active voices. Then you have a visualization of the output. You change the style simply by clicking. The output sets the volume of the instrument. And the avatar contains a few menu shortcuts. Next, we have the oscillators. Vanguard has three oscillators per voice, each with 41 available waveforms. For each of the three oscillators, you can set the volume, semitone union, detune, and pulse width. VCS sets the amount of voices that will be used to create the fat effect. Age changes the oscillator's frequency and stability. Next section is the LFO. Vanguard 2 comes with three independent triangle oscillators. Speed sets the LFO speed between 0 and 60 Hz. Detune modulates the pitch of the oscillator. Cutoff modulates the cutoff frequency of the filter. The filter comes with 13 different filter types, such as the standard low and high pass, and several others. The cutoff knobs sets the cutoff frequency of the filter. Reso is the resonance where the frequencies at the cutoff frequency are boosted. The two ladder filters also have a dry parameter which adds distortion to the filter. The mod button allows the mod wheel to modulate the cutoff. In the amplifier, you can adjust the drive of the signal. Next to drive, you have the volume. Pan sets the position of the signal from left to right. Then you have the velocity tracking. Spread is where you set how wide your signal should be. In the delay section, you can apply different delay effects. You can choose between five different delay types. Mix sets the output volume of the delay. FBK sets the feedback. Mod creates variation to the movement of the sound. Low and high works as in high and low pass filter. Delay effects are synchronized with the track's tempo. You can select the speed under the time menu. Reverb applies a room simulation to your sound. Mix adjusts how much of the reverb effect to mix with the original sound. And you can adjust the level of decay. Pre-delay sets the time before the reverb is heard. Longer duration creates the perception of a larger space. Mod adjusts how much the reverb time is modulated by a built-in LFO. Low and high works as in low and high pass filter. Distortion creates a non-linear distortion and drive adjusts the amount of the effect. 
the glide option creates a glide effect between the notes. Under Voices, you can set the amount of voices to be applied to your sound between 1 and 32 voices. Under Pitch, PB Range sets the pitch bend range. Vib Speed defines the speed and Vib Depth the depth of the vibrato. The Arpeggiator allows you to use a wide selection of ARP effects. You can select between several modes, speeds, gates, and set the number of octaves to be covered. In the trans gate, you can create typical trans rhythmic sounds. Mix sets the mixing of the effect into the sound. Contour sets how fast or slow the gate opens and closes. When you apply stereo, you can also adjust the width of the sound. The last thing we will look at in this video is the librarian. As mentioned before, we open this by clicking the cube. In this view, you can find all the presets. There are three main sections in this browser. Folders on the left shows all the preset packages installed. Categories in the middle shows the categories of the selected folder. And the presets are found on the right. You can search for a preset, or you can filter the presets by the character of the sound. We will return to the presets in upcoming videos where we will listen to some of the presets included. Let me know by comment if there is any preset packages you would like to have a listen to. I hope you have found the video insightful and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos on this and other plugins, as well as tutorials and similar.